Hi, my name's Ashley, and this is Caden, and we are here at Spanish Trail. Um, my normal day here at Spanish Trail, I get here at 7.30 in the morning, and between 7.30 and 9, uh, my clients drop their dogs off to be groomed. Um, when the first dog gets dropped off, I go and I speak with the client on how they want their dog groomed, and then I come back here, start grooming the dog. As you can see, um, he still has a little bit more uh, to be groomed, but I, I would start on him, and then when another client comes, I put him back in his designated kennel, then I go up, speak with that client, um, and then come back and finish him, uh, prep him before the bath. So I want to get his nails, his, his sanitary, his face, pretty much as much hair as I can off of him before the bath. That's what, That way it's easier to dry. Um, and your dog would come out more clean. So obviously, um, between 7:30 and 9 in the morning, it's very, uh, it's very busy. It's a, definitely a field of multitasking, um, quality, and a lot of patience. It takes it takes quite a bit more than just a love for animals to be able to, to you know, get in the zone and and work with these animals. Because when you're feeling bad, they're going to know it. So you have to make sure that you're in control at all times. And then um, once after I. Bathe the, the, I bathe the animal, I'll come back, um, dry him, and then finish the haircut because you can't use your equipment on dirty hair. So you want to make sure the animal is completely clean and then I'll finish, I'll finish the animal the way the client wanted his haircut and then call them about 15 minutes before they're done. That way they don't have to go back in their kennel and um, their owner can come and pick them up as soon as they're ready. If you're interested in going into the field of grooming, I would highly recommend that you'd probably want to um, apply to your local salons, um, start off bathing and learn the basics, like the basic handling, basic bathing, and the foundations of a good groom before I would probably invest any money into, um, into a school um, or any kind of education just to make sure that you like it first. Right now there aren't any, I don't believe there's any states that require uh, certification, but you can get your diploma at different schools. Um, I got my diploma at the Paragon School of Pet Grooming in Michigan, and I did that online while working at a salon where I also started off as a bather, learning how to bathe, uh, trim nails, uh, express anal glands, pluck ears, and drying. Um, when I, after I started off in the basics, I then learned how different different breeds and their different haircuts, um, along with um, doing uh, some basic scissoring skills, and along with your basic techniques. Um, so, I'll, you know, another thing to think about when if you're interested in grooming is it is a very physically demanding job. Um, there there are dogs that weigh you know up to 200 pounds, and you have to really learn how to be able to uh, lift these dogs, you know, with help of course, into tubs, maneuver them around. Also, your different your different handling techniques with dogs that are probably going to be larger than you. Um, it's also a, a career that is long hours. If you're really wanting to succeed in this business, you're definitely want you're going to want a quality over quantity. Um, so you're going to want to spend some time on these dogs to make sure that they're exactly you know how the owner wants wants these dogs um, to look. Um, I have found that um, the best temperament for this field is one that's more of a, you know, even temperament. That way, um, that way when you come into work, you leave all your problems at the door um, because whatever you're feeling, the dog is going to feel and it's definitely going to uh, be a little bit more challenging to groom. Um, Another thing is that uh, you'll need some. You'll also need patience while, while working with dogs, especially aggressive dogs, um, dogs that want to bite or, or you know, cry out or, or wiggle around. The field of pet styling is a very rewarding, um, rewarding business, especially if you love animals. The best part of this job, you know, ultimately is being with animals, making them look and feel better, and seeing that what you've done um, has really just put them more at ease. Also seeing the clients' faces when, they've, when you, they come to pick up their pet and they're happy with the job that you've done, there's not, there's not a greater feeling than knowing that, hey, I, this, was a, this was a completed work and it was to their satisfaction. Um, 
probably the worst part of, of grooming is just being patient with the extremely aggressive animals. Um, you don't know their past, what they've been through, why they're scared. So the more um, resistant that you are to helping them, the harder it's going to be. So the more patient that you are, um, the better they'll be um, in the visits to come. Also, time management and the pressure of having dogs done at a specific time is also very challenging. Um, but like I said, once that once you get your routine down on, on your dogs and, and knowing how long it takes you to finish dogs and um, in calling the owner about 15 minutes before they're ready, that way the owner's not waiting and um, you're not pressured of them showing up and they're not and their dog not being ready when they get here. If you're interested in becoming a pet stylist, I would definitely recommend calling you know, uh, your local salons, applying to any local salons, um, and starting off as a bather. They always need help bathing dogs. Um, or you can find your friends, neighbors, dogs to uh, do some brushing skills. Just uh, practice on your brushing. Also, um, get more uh, acquainted or knowledgeable about your different breeds. There are you know, quite a few breeds of dogs and cats. Learning all your breeds and their temperaments will definitely help you in this industry. Once you've, uh, once you've been employed at a salon, there are different uh, pet fairs around the country that you can attend and see how the best groomers in the nation, how they groom and how they compete with one another. And you'll definitely get a wealth of knowledge by attending one of those.